In today's video, we're going to take a look at uh, source and destination errors, which you find in AutoCAD Electrical. So, have you ever wondered why, you know, when we're creating different wires, how do we join them, either internally on the same sheets or externally between two sheets? So, with that, we can use source and destination errors, which are found in AutoCAD Electrical. So, the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to go and create a wire, one at the top there and the one in the bottom right. Now, with this wire over here, um, I want the top left wire to join with the uh, bottom right wire. So the first thing I need to do is create a source error. So with that source error over there, I can select the end of this wire. And with that, you'll see there, I can start entering some information. So the information I can do is code. So I've got a, I'm just gonna use this default code that it's got showing over here. And in description, I'm going to say internal, as I just want to, you know, have a pretty description of what's going on. Now with the source code, I can also choose the signal error style. Okay, so I've got those four over there. Okay, and once I've done that, I can click on OK. And what it does is it will put in the error head, put internal for the description, and it'll ask me what I like to insert by matching destination errors. Now, I'm going to go OK. So with that, because I said OK, I need to go and click on where I want the um, destination to be. So let's take a look at what would have happened if I did not click on insert the error now. So let's go back to the source error, select the end of my line over here. I'm going to use that code. I'm going to say internal two and okay. When it asks, would you like to insert the matching destination error? I'm going to say no. And now what? Okay, so we've got this source error, but we don't have a destination error for that source error. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the drop down arrow and click on destination error. With that destination error, I say where exactly it needs to go to, which is the top of that wire. And instead of putting in a code and description, I'm going to go say recent. So with recent, it tells me that is what I've recently created. And you'll see the description to internal to click on OK and OK and then it goes and puts my destination in there. So now you can see there, I've got these two and you've got some question marks there. I'm just gonna say wire numbers, drawing wide, and it should take care of the wire numbers over there. So it tells me that wire number 55 heads off to wire number 55 there and then 56 to 56. Now what happens if it goes onto a different drawing, an external drawing? So let's take a look at that situation. So I'm going to click on wire over here, draw my wire going to the right, and I'm going to go put in a source arrow over there, user code, and let's type in external as our description, and click on OK. No, I do not want to put in my destination arrow now, but what I am going to do is I'm going to go to the next page. So it's going to take me to this next page over here on the in the project lineup, and that's my external. So now what we need to do is we're gonna say, right, let's go and put a wire in over here, and we can put in our destination arrow. So I can select on the end of this line, and I can either say recent, and there we go, there's my external, or I can say drawing, but there are no other uh, source or destinations on this drawing over here, or I can click on project. And what project does, so it's going to freshen that quickly, uh, freshen the database. What project does, it will now come over and tell me um, what is unpaired. So I've got these four which are unpaired, okay, and I know that that's the one that I did over there. So if I click on OK, it will then go and put in my, um, tell me where it's coming from, and the number over there. Now, the nice thing about the source and destination or about AutoCAD Electrical, it's got a function called Surfer. So if I click on Surfer, and say I didn't particularly know, or well, I've just received this drawing, I don't know where this drawing goes, I can just click on the destination arrow, it'll tell me this is the destination, and then it'll tell me this is the source that it's gonna go to. And I can say go to, and it should go and open up the drawing that the source error is sitting on 
and it'll go directly to where that source error is. Okay. The last thing I want to do with this is I'm just going to go and create um, wire numbers again. I'm going to say tag, retag all. I'm just going to go project wide and okay. And then I'm just going to do the last two projects over here. So that is internal and external and okay. And then I should just go do the Y numbers for the two of those over there. Okay. So there we go. So that's how we can go and create uh, source and destination errors, either internally on one drawing or externally on two different drawings. Thanks very much for watching.